Okay, so this video is going to help out the people that need help with creating their picture collage for the project, your name and pictures. So you're going to go to pixlr.com and select advanced pixlr E. So the first thing that you're going to have, I hope that you have this already because this will help you stay organized is you should have all the pictures that you need for the project in a folder and each picture should be labeled according to what image they are just to stay organized as you can see i have all the letters here for my name i didn't just cheat and use the same letter for same picture for each letter twice so if you haven't done that you probably should so in this document, what you're going to do is start off by creating a new project. So you're going to go to Create New. Over here where this says Name Untitled, I want you to type in your last name, underscore, and Name in Pictures. You can see here in Pixlr, the biggest file size is 4096 by 4096. So we're going to do that. And we're going to keep the background transparent and we're going to click create so here's our photoshop-esque kind of layout here with our tools menu bar navigator layers you could turn off history because we don't need it so the first thing that you're going to do is import a picture from your folder so to do this you're going to hit file open image and select the first one which is m well, for me, it's M. For you, it's whatever yours is. Hit open. So this, as you see here, it opens it up in a separate image. So your name and pictures is here. Your letter is here. So what you're going to do is you're going to cut out this image. So you're going to do Control A. Control A, what that does is it selects all, selects everything. Okay. And then you're going to do Control X which is the keyboard shortcut for cut. Then you're going to switch over to name and pictures. And you're going to do control V or paste. Control V is in Victor is the keyboard shortcut for paste. Okay. So as a couple things you'll, you'll see, you'll see the option to resize this picture here with these sizing handles. And you're also going to see that over here in your layers, we have another layer in our document. And it's called Image PNG. To rename these layers, which I strongly suggest that you do, you right click on this, you swipe across where it says image.png, and type in the letter name that you're working with. And then you can X out of this. Okay? So let's see this again. And, and by, when you're done with this one up here, you can close this out and open up another one. So here we go. We're going to do another one. My next letter is I. So I'm going to go to File, Open Image. I'm going to go to the letter that I want, which is I, and hit Open. If this happens to you, just pick which one of whatever one you want to and hit Apply. Doesn't matter. So as you see again, this opens up in a separate window. So we're going to do Control A to select all. Control X to cut. Switch over to my name and pictures. Do Control V as in Victor. And you're going to see I have my next picture in my project. Here it shows an, um, an M and image PNG is my new image. So I'm going to right click, swipe this and type in I. Close that out. And now I have my second letter. We're going to resize these things later on. One more time, and then I'm going to pause the video and so you guys have all of your stuff imported into this one file. So again, we're going to go to File, Open Image. My next letter is C, Open, Control A, Control X. Switch to my name and pictures and do control V as in Victor to paste in my tiny little letter C. We'll make it work. And then you rename the image over here by right clicking. 
swipe this, type in the letter C for whatever letter you're working on, and close this out. And don't forget, you can close these out too as you're working on these things. So at this point, I'm going to pause the video, upload all my pictures, put them all in one document, and then I'll see you back when we're done. Okay, so hopefully at this point you have all of your images into one file here, like I have here. So now comes the time where you're going to rearrange things and all that fun stuff and resize stuff. So I'm going to start off with my big images. Like, it's pretty easy with this particular uh, software because you just have to click on whatever file you want to work on. You don't have to select the layer. But it's real simple. You just drag it in and put it where you want it just like that when i want to mess with the c i'm just going to drag this and make it however big i want it to be and um depending on how you want them arranged like say for example you want m to be on top don't forget you have to drag these layers wherever you want them to be to, to overlap whatever image you're currently working on so M should be over top of I, since in the layer stack, M is above I. So keep that in mind as you're rearranging your, your letters and such. If you want to crop a specific picture, this is where things get a little bit tricky, because in my experience with these programs, if you end up trying to crop this picture, it'll end up cropping the entire thing. So I'll try it just to see, but I don't think this is going to work. Yep, it'll won't. It wants to crop the entire picture. So I guess if you have to crop the picture before you put it in here, I mean, whatever. I would just say go with whatever's here. But it's whatever. You can always just delete this layer, open up your other one, kind of like this. If you find out like this layer isn't exactly what you want, you can always just open this up. Crop this however you want it to be. Control A, X. Uh, you can find the letter here that you want to get rid of. Um, just press delete. And then you can paste that image back in here. Uh oh, I made a boo boo. So. You would just paste that letter C back in here. C and paste. And here's the cropped picture. So unfortunately, you have to do the cropping outside of this particular document, but it's not that hard to do. So we're going to go through the process of just arranging all of these, all these pictures like that I'm happy with that it's not too shabby move that around a little bit maybe this one can be a little bit bigger I'm not sure and then we'll go down here to the bottom this is my W which is a little bit too big if you don't want when you're resizing these pictures too and you don't want them to be constrained proportionally like with that's this is what that's called you can always turn it on to free the, what this will do is it'll allow you to pull this down like this to um, kind of like be free with how you want to you know resize the picture but then it goes back to fixed whenever you're done doing that so keep that in mind there's my eye Here's my T. So like here, if I want to make this longer than it, than it wants it, me to, to um, do it, I can just click on free and drag this down to make it taller like that. And then it goes back to fixed when you click on a new image. So this one's definitely too big. So I'll just make this smaller. Here's my other T. I'm going to go back to free this done and make this taller so there's my name and pictures hooray the last thing i want to have you do is to put a background behind it because this is just boring with a blank background 
So the image that I have is going to replace layer one. So you can click on layer one. Find a picture that you want to have as your background. Go to File, Open, Image, wherever you put it. I'm using this picture that I took when I was in the Outer Banks. Pretty cool picture. There it is. I took it off of a bank balcony when it was raining really hard. Looks like it's Photoshopped, but it's actually not. It's just a flash bouncing off of the water. Curtains of water falling off of the wall, off of the ceiling. Remember that? That was pretty fun. <laughs> so then we switch back to our image here, control V. And here's our picture. You can make it however big you want to, to take up the entire picture. Don't forget, you can click on free and just make that like that. Make that like that. That's, that's, that's going to look really bad. I'm just going to oversize it just to fill the space. Like that. That still looks really warped. So I'm going to just smush that back down. Uh, my phone never stops ringing. Thank you. So I'm going to drag this down here to the bottom, and that will be the bottom layer. And there it is. A very simple thing that you can do that's artsy fartsy and a lot of fun. And then to get this thing done, um, you're going to save this. So you'll go to File, Save. Okay, so it should have your file name, your name and pictures. Now you can pick either JPEG or PNG. Um, doesn't really matter. High quality, make sure that goes all the way to 100%. Download. Oh yeah, thank you. So here it is, my image is in my downloads here. So then when you get this thing done, you'll go into Google Classroom and click on the turn in button and it'll give you the option to choose a file from your computer. You'll just go to here and attach it and hit submit. And that's all there is to it. Hopefully you uh, learned something from this and if you did, I'll probably know because you did your work and turned it in. So thanks for doing that, by the way. Hope you guys are doing well. I hope everybody is safe, happy, and not stir crazy from quarantine. And hopefully I'll see you sometime soon.